own Bitmoji scene. So I um, have not created this idea myself. I came across it uh, last night on Facebook and have recreated my own. Um, and then this tutorial, I can talk you through how I made my one. So uh, like I said, this idea is not mine, but it is a fantastic idea and I love it so much. It could be used in many different ways for your students, um, just for fun, to share messages. Um, here, you could have a TV there instead to display the messages. You could just use it for... Um, doing different lessons or ideas and showing information it could be done anyway so the first thing you want to do is to create a google slide um empty template and make it blank and then you're going to come to background um and you're going to no you're not i lie you're going to yes you are you're going to choose an image and you're going to choose it from google image search okay so not your upload um not your camera not URL or anything, you want to click Google image search. Then you're going to type in the words wall floor because you want the wall and the floor and you can use black background as well if you wanted to. Then there are lots um, down here that you can navigate through like this one here has got four walls, um, this one here has got floor and a different type of wall. So it's really about finding one that you think will suit your classroom um, or like your background for your space that you want to build on. So I'm going to choose this one and just click insert. I'm going to click done. And it's going to make it your background there. So then you can start building um, things onto it. So you could add a chair or a couch. So I'm going to go back to insert an image, search the web. And then I'm going to type in couch and transparent. So you want it to have a transparent background. Otherwise, when you insert it, it's going to have all the white around it, which we don't want. So we can just have a try and a play around until we find one that might match with what you're wanting. There we go. You can resize and position it where you would like. <clears throat> um, and this is the same for any image. So you go back to your search. Um, let's see, let's do a desk maybe. Um, and it would be just playing around and trying to find one that would search your needs um, or that would look like you how you wanted it to look so for the sake of it let's just keep that one i'm going to move that down there you go so it looks a little bit more natural there you could also add a whiteboard or a tv as a background so the same thing you're always searching via um, transparent you could also open another tab here and toggle between the two and you could copy them in um, or you can have it set up um, like how I'm doing and using the insert image on the side feature. Uh, let's see, oh that one looks cool. Let's position it there, make that a little bit bigger. Choice. Cool. Um, I think that looks really good to start with. You could, of course, add more things. Um, if we look at mine, I've got a coffee mug, um, a vase of flowers, I have a computer, I've got some images here from Bitmoji, I've typed this sign here just using a text box, and this one here is just a picture frame with a picture on the inside. <clears throat> so to get your Bitmoji, you're going to come up to your Bitmoji Chrome extension, and you're going to type in the type of Bitmoji that you would like. So you could have standing, thinking, um, jumping, I don't know, whatever you want. Let's see if there's a stand one. Nope, okay. Um, let's see if there's a body, like the whole body. No. So it's basically navigating until you find one that you might like to use. Preferably one that stands by itself um, with no other like images or the words around it. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use this one. So you can right click copy in or you can actually just drag it straight on and it will drag it down for you. Uh, you can then position it wherever you would like it to go. Cool. There are sitting ones. So this one here is me sitting down. Um, I'm going to copy the computer over just for this purpose. 
Uh, let's see if we can get it to sit on the table. Oh, beautiful. Um, and then you can continue adding more to it to add um, more ideas or to share more learning. I mean, you could not have a couch. You could just have a chair. You could have whatever you want, really. It's really um, up to you how you'd like it to look. And then to save the image, you then just select the scene that you want or the slide. You click File download as and then a jpeg file and then it will download it into your downloads for you to then share wherever you would like to use it